Howdy who and welcome to Nebs Gaming! It's been a whole week since I've had off really, uh, because it was my daughter's birthday, so I decided to uh, spend the week with her, and I did a bit of building in the evenings when she was uh, sleeping in bed, only for a few hours a night, but I may have got a bit carried away each night. First of all, we've started the outline of the wall on our main like living area village that we've created. Let's go take a quick look inside. Oh look, look at look at how beautiful that is. Over there the iron farm standing graciously. I see the copper is oxidized as well. But moving through here, this is gonna be the main gatehouse where we've got the wall going up there on the side. As we move on through here, I've sorted out our chest. Not got any labels on them yet, but we've got plenty of deeps like it. Uh, we've got some wood boxes here. Some nether boxes, some tough, each is sort of categorised, look at all those lovely diamonds. Yes, I now have full diamonds as well, full diamond armour, so in fact, let's put that on, because that was one of the things we actually did, we decided to enchant that, because we needed respiration and depth strider and aqua infinity on our kit and gear for one of the farms, which we will I'll show you later on. But going through here, that's just like a little new storage area that we've created. We obviously got our furnaces here, which are needed for all the glass, which was excellent. We just put lava in the corners here. Nice and simple build. I've got a nice hopper running. If you're wondering how this one gets its fuel, I've got a hopper running behind there and in there. Hello, Mr. Pig. Going through and around. Did we get anything else? Let's have a quick... Look in the chests. I've emptied a few of the chests out. As you can see, our slime farm's working wonders now. As we move further up, no, we've not got much. I did die a few times, and I have lost. I've lost my uh, shovel as well, which had efficiency and everything like that. On which we'll have to make a new one at a later date. But not much else has changed in this village. Uh, but I have decided something. What's going to happen in this corner over here? We run over quickly. In this corner, I've already moved one building. If you remember, there was one there last time. This area, sort of as it encircles, I may have to increase the mountainous rage, do a bit of terraforming myself here. But I'm going to have it coming around almost. Leave this gap open, this path open here. And here... I'm going to use as little breeding areas for all different animals. We'll have little hobbit holes. I was going to put hobbit holes in anyway, but I couldn't figure out what to put in there. I was going to put villages in there, but I've decided I'm going to use it as little breeding areas, such as bees, llamas, things like that. Now, just tucked away nicely there. Maybe I'll even add a stables, because we all love making stables. Right. I suppose I'd better show you over to the uh, farm area. Well, let's head on over. Running through to our main farm area, you can see the bamboo on the left hand side there. Uh, working wonders, we've got a few chests full now of bamboo. But the main eye drawn is to the center tower here, which I have created. But I'll leave to tell you what's going to be happening with that later on in the episode. First, I want to take you around. We've got our bamboo, as you can see as well, we've got not a bamboo, what's it called? Pumpkin and melon farm, yeah. I've added a few mods from Vanilla Tweaks uh, just to differentiate between the different stems and I think that looks really, really nice. That's my personal opinion. Let's move on through here. Moving on through. Oh no, it's getting dark so we'll go through. Straight ahead of us is our pumpkin. Uh, no, it's our sugarcane farm. Get my words right. Uh, did we show you down here where we've got a little smelting area as well where the bamboo runs into? I don't think I did last time. Boom, crafting table between each one so we can craft the um, bamboo blocks and things like that. Look at that, chest absolutely brimming with bamboo now. The farm is pumping lots and lots out. All the goodness and all our smithing. Hello, Mr. Villager, Mr. Trader even. Well, in fact, what have you got? Anything good for us? Uh, ooh, magenta dye, another vanilla tweaks mod there. Just to differentiate between all the different dyes and I think that was pretty nice. It's getting dark now, so I'm going to quickly run through here into the tower. Did I leave a bed here? Nope, not got a bed in here. But I do have one round the corner in our cactus farm. We're going to have a quick sleep here and wake up. And you can see our cactus farm is producing enough for us. We don't need a lot. 
But the main thing we're using it for is a tiny bit of bone meal here. Uh, just collecting for future use. So that's simple design, usual design. Everybody knows how it goes. Stick a fence post between two, they pop off. Fall into a water chain. Channel, done. Here we have our sugarcane farm. It's not 100% lossless, I'm afraid, but it works for now. As soon as we get enough powered rails and things like that, we will implement them into the system. But at this minute in time, it's producing enough that, uh, well, enough, more than enough that we need at the minute. Moving on over here, why we needed Aqua Infinity is because of all this wonderful, lovely stuff here. Jumping up here, we can see we've got five layers of kelp farm here. That's right, it's going to be producing that lovely, luscious kelp for us. Uh, it was quite an easy build. I've done two layers each side. If you remember last season, I created the similar. I created a similar uh, one to it, but I only did one, and it produced quite a bit. So I've done the same thing here now. Oh, look at that lovely tower in the background. Ooh, I bet you're wondering what that is. Well, you're going to have to wait and see what that is, and I'll tell you shortly. But let's carry on with the tour of what I did in the evenings. This took me one day, well, this took me about three hours to make in total, just gathering the material and stuff. So it was quite pretty, pretty easy. Moving on here, uh, we can see we're producing lovely dried kelp here. I'm using buckets of lava, which we appear to be out of at the minute. So I'm going to shut that off now. But look, we've got absolutely chest holes and the chests go all the way up there. I may introduce more stone bricks as we go further up and a couple more chests will likely be needed. But we'll come to that at a later date if it does overflow. Moving around on our tour, we've got three doggies that we'll be breeding up. They'll be going into the breeding area, which I stated earlier. Here we have our uh, stalactite farm which is producing nothing <laughs> it is just a slow and steady process that'll come when it needs to moving through here we've got our lava uh, our lava which we can use for fuel sources in our multiple farms go around here now wow i've made them and this uh wool farm on the same evening it's a simple wool farm she is all the sheep are in their pens Waiting to be bred up. So let's go around here. The simple one. They get the um, observer. Observers them eating the grass. They then dispense the shears. Which shears them into the chest here. Moving on. We finally have a reliable food source over here. Which is the simple design if you saw in the last season. This is the easiest one I've even added. I'm thinking of putting a waterfall in the middle of here. Uh, just to give it a bit more atmospherics and a bit more tidy, but we'll do that at a later date. We'll probably do this on stream. If we have a look, we're already collecting. I've already got some... F this is what they eat in each one. There, and we're slowly collecting some goodies. Uh, so let's have a quick look how it works. Simply get the lava going. They'll all burn. Oh, listen to that lovely burn. In fact, we can do this for all of them. Oh, 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 and we've got the mutton and the, <laughs> we even get wool from that one. Let's get the piggies on the go. Oh, we're only doing half there. <laughs> it has its flaws, but it also works as well, which I'm happy because it produces enough food for us. Look at all that steak going in. We've got some lamb chops if we fancy some cooked mutton, sorry, not lamb chops. And we've got some cooked pork there as well. In fact, we'll do that again. There we go, look at them burn. We'll get all that and we can breed them up again. Look, all the sheep are gone. The cows are still there. By the minute we're eating bread. Oh, there go, there they go. Let's have a look, let's have a look. And there it all comes in. Lovely. See this sugar cane? Look, we've got a few stacks there. Not chestfuls. Ah, because we don't need enough. You're probably wondering why this pen is here. Comment down below. Now, I'll give you five seconds. Comment down below now, pause the video, if you think, know what these are for. Five, four, three, two, one. Eat a bit of bread. They are for our farm villagers. We are going to be collecting all the necessary breeding equipment, such as radishes, potatoes. Uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? Carrots. And I'm going to do another one. 
right over here. This one's going to be needs to be raised a little bit because this one is going to be the wheat farm. Little area over here for creating our for growing some nether trees, all the different crimson ones, etc., etc. Woo! I'm running out of breath here. This is almost this will be a 10 minute video in itself. Quick jump up here now, just to show what our tower is. There we go. That was a tour of all the uh, different, different farms I did while I uh, on each evening. Whew, I'm out of breath saying all that. Right, you're probably wondering what this tower is all about. First of all, I love this design of the tower. A little bit of an evil side, but I wanted to differentiate it. So, as you can see, I've used deep slate, uh, oh, a lot of deep slate, and deep slate brick and things like that to differentiate between the mechanical and the ones that I'd be going to use in villages. And I absolutely love the design. I absolutely love the design. Oh, you're probably clicking now. I've said villages. Well, what's going in there? It's going to be the new villager breeder. That's right. Remember, I said we we're going to move the villager breeder over to this area. Uh, far away from our trading hall. And look at it. I absolutely love the design. The difference between the nether brick. Or the deep slight brick. Oh, everything like that. And if you go if you go further along here. Okay, this is Edison Nev's Gaming here. Well, what happened was, for some reason, my sound decided to cut out. While I was recording, well, well, I'm not recording while I was editing, so let me just talk you through it. Basically, we're going through the main, the main tower now, which I absolutely love the design of. I've said that about a million times now, and we are going to go up the scaffolding from the main hall. There's little alcoves on the edges there, which we can store stuff in, or we can add like little, little things in there, uh, little nuts and crannies you know little trinkets we can find in there maybe we'll put some armor stands in we've got a level here with lovely open windows there we can look down upon a good place to afk from going further 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 up uh this is where i believe is where we're going to put our main breeding area leading up to the roof here you can see that i've used anvils from the iron from our iron farm to produce a nice little well a nice little fence area so you don't fall off but we can jump on the sides here in order to look and the way that it comes out of the building I think is fantastic. But we can take a look at the view all around the area. Oh, just look at it all. Just look how fantastic it is. Heading back down now, I'm going to say a big thank you all for watching. I've been Nevs Gaming. Yo, you beautiful people have been amazing. So I'm going to say a big, massive toodaloo. And I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye. Please like and subscribe.